I have a little uh, creative criticism or constructive criticism of the intactivist movement for you. I've noticed that uh, in general, the overall message of the intactivist movement and the aesthetic of it is sort of one, in many ways, it's one of conciliation. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's sort of the, the rallies. It'll sort of be the, the rallies and the slogans and the even the signs. The entire feeling that you'll get is like you're you're asking or or sort of pleading. Please stop circumcision. Please stop this. Please stop that. Um, there's uh, there's a recent video. I think of a guy running around with a megaphone, and I gotta congratulate him on getting a megaphone. That's something that the intactivist movement needs more of. We need more volume! And a megaphone's a good way to get it. Uh, good, good, way, good, good tool to scream at people as they run into the AAP conferences. Anyway, it's just, it's sort of... You know, oh, p please, you know, save our son, save this, uh, you know... It's like pleading. It's asking permission. And I don't mind that as much if you're targeting parents. But for goodness sake, when you're standing outside an AAP conference, it is time to unleash on them. And yet I don't really get that message. I, uh, you know, it doesn't really come through. I do I really think that we need, it's a, okay, so this, this is a problem, this sort of pleading, it's a problem. The, the, the problem is society does not empathize with boys in general, and they really don't empathize with adult men, who, who is what, you know, the intactivists generally are. Adult men may be ranging from early adulthood, you know, still a teenager, late, late teenager, all the way up to you know, old, middle-aged and old men. And, you know, these are, men are the most unempathizable creatures in modern society. So an appeal based on empathy toward men is bound to fail. The intactivist movement needs to capitalize on its strengths. And its strength, uh, the strength is that intactivism is loaded with angry, raging mad men. That is intactivism's strength. And what are men good at? Men are not empathizable, uh, you know, really easily able to be empathized with, but what are men good at? Men are good at war. So the, the, the entire atmosphere of intactivism, especially when you're targeting the AAP and the AMA and ACOG, or you're targeting a hospital, t protesting outside a hospital or a clinic or something, you need to unleash the beast. Peep, you need to be screaming at them, calling them child rapists. You need to be telling them, I mean, the, the ultimate message in this case needs to be cease and desist raping babies, or we are going to come crashing down on you with the full force of the state the minute that a sympathetic government takes power in this country. Get mad. We need more people on megaphones. You know, harassing people as they, they go into these, in, these conferences. We need that. And I mean, unleash on these people. This is the United States of America. We have the great gift of the First Amendment. And by the way, uh, Brandenburg versus Ohio has basically concluded that you, you can say pretty much anything. Uh, you have free speech. You can say anything up until outright criminal conspiracy, or there's uh, there's there's actually a reasonable, you know, a likelihood of violence. Heck, you can even incite violence as long as there's not a reasonable likelihood of it happening. God bless the USA uh, for the fact, you know, 
the fact that we rape babies aside, uh, we have a great First Amendment, and I do love the First Amendment. So get out there and use it. Men, men of the intactivist movement, don't ask for your rights. Demand them. Get angry. Tell me what you think. Bye-bye.